I've been born with congenital heart defect and um, I was born a, apparently doctors knew straight away they could tell from my veins because they were grey and they could tell that something had happened so they had to take me away in an ambulance and take me for surgery at four days old. So Grayson uh, was, was diagnosed uh, really at 30 weeks. The sonographer told us that he has Tetralogy of Fallot, uh, so four heart defects. Um, his, his hole was so large between his, the chambers of his heart that you could hear it when you put your ear to his chest. You could hear the whooshing in between the chambers. So. And feel it, so you could actually put your hand on his you chest rattled. and feel the shunting, yeah. the blood flow. Um, I've had three operations and um, they were quite major and um, I had one when I was three, one when I was four days old and one when I was nine. Uh, when we first found out about Evan, uh, the initial reaction was, uh, was you know, shock and um, you know, like a bit, bit of grief straight away as well. Um, like we, yeah, I think we both went out into the waiting room or whatever area and had a and I had a good a good cry. The fatigue is definitely one of the major things that I find hard. I'll be doing PE at school and I'll say to my teacher I need to stop because it'll be too hard and just Seeing other people do things that I can't do is quite hard. Um, and getting made fun of because of my scar and how they think it's gross. Yeah, I don't tend to open up about my condition like up front. Um, I guess it's, <clears throat> I don't want people to feel sorry for me or feel like I'm just saying the condition because I want them to feel sorry to be my friend. So <laughs> uh, I tend to hold back that information. Yeah. It's always there, you know, to, to some to some degree, you know, the, the fact that he has a heart condition is in my head and it moves forward or, or back to varying degrees just depending on what's going on in, in our lives or how how he's how he's doing. Um well surgery most definitely. Yeah. But the loneliness. Mm. It's really hard going through something like this with your child and feeling so alone and under so much stress all the time. Um, you have, sorry Sina, you have highs and lows and you have amazing support from family and friends but you spend so much time in a hospital room staring at walls and Oh, sorry. Oh, Heart Kids is great in every way. They help me through my surgeries. They, they, I don't think Heart Kids has done anything wrong with me. Everything they've done has helped. Um, from Heart Camp to all the, like, the fundraisers that they do, everything like that has really helped. Oh look, it's it, it's it's all a support and, and a, a common sort of understanding of what's going on. Um, so connecting you to people that are going through the same thing, which your friends and family are never going to really truly understand, uh, is really important. I I haven't done a lot of a lot of talking or or sharing at any of the the events that have been have been set up because I just haven't I just haven't. Um, I haven't felt ready or, or felt the need. I've, I've actually got a lot from uh, from listening to other people, um, which, which has been good. Um, I think in the future the Heart Cancer <coughs> Charity will continue to add value, particularly for our family. At the moment they've been amazing support for Nigel and I, but with the events that they offer, the camps, the scholarships, everything um, that they do for the Heart Kids is incredible. So. In the future, it'll be nice when he personally gets to also benefit, as we've benefited immensely.
Kids provide a wide range of services for our families, but basically we provide family support for our families and, and heart kids uh, through life. So this starts prenatally, so before birth, and right through to we look after 70-year-olds, 60-year-olds through that, you know, through their, their trials and tribulations of having heart conditions. So our main goals over the next few years is to provide consistency of service uh, throughout New Zealand because we don't do that currently. So what we want to do is provide the same sort of services if you were in Wellington, Kaitaia or Invercargill. Um, currently we, we don't do that. So our aim is to provide that consistency of service for our families throughout New Zealand through the next few years. Mm -hmm.